this video, we will look at visual ways to represent and understand sets of points on the complex plane. We'll start by considering the real number line. What two numbers are two units away from five? Well, seven is our most obvious number, but a second solution exists over at three. This can be written as the absolute value of x minus 5 equals 2. We can read it as the difference between x and 5 is 2. The absolute value removes the sign in the case of 3 minus 5, allowing solutions in either direction. A useful way to think about the absolute value in this and related context is distance. Now let's have a look at a similar problem on the complex plane. Real numbers occur in a line. Complex numbers occur in a plane. So we would expect to see a lot more solutions. So what numbers or points are five units away from 2i? Well, there's one on the imaginary axis at minus three. That's five units away. There's another one at 7, but that's just off my screen. But there would be more solutions. There's some over here between negative 4 and negative 5 on the real axis, and also between 4 and 5 on the real axis. These points can be summarized in much the same way as we did before, as the absolute value of z minus 2i equals 5. Or, interpreting that, the distance between some point z and 2i is equal to 5. But of course, there's a few more points that we could locate. There's one over here and here, and there's a whole bunch of them. And collectively, they form a circle. A circle which is centered at 2i with a radius of 5. And that's what that equation means. We often want to represent that equation in what we'd call Cartesian form. So, let's start with our equation. The absolute value of z minus 2i is equal to 5, which we know to be a circle. We'll change our z to x plus yi. Next, we'll group our real and imaginary components. Then we will use our definition for the absolute value of z. Square both sides and there's our more familiar equation for a circle. It actually describes the relationship between the real and imaginary coefficients for z. Let's have a look at a similar problem and how it might be solved using the Inspire calculator. Define the set of points on the Argan plane that are four units away from z equal to minus four plus two i. I've drawn this diagram on a calculator application. We can see the point minus four plus two i and some point z n which is four units away. A point that satisfies that condition is on the imaginary axis at 2. But there are lots of other points, as we can see, as we move z around. A fixed distance of 4 units away from this point here, minus 4 plus 2i. We can trace the location of z to get a better idea on how those points are situated in relation to minus 4 plus 2i. And we see we get a circle. Let's have a look at that problem algebraically. In the calculator application we can define z equal to x plus y times i. Then we'll have a look at our formula as we defined before as the set of points that are four units away from minus four plus two i.
the calculator automatically converts that into a Cartesian expression. If we square both sides, we can start to see the formation of our circle equation. To get into a more familiar format, let's complete the square for this expression using both x and y. And there we have our equation x plus 4 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared equals 16. A circle centered at minus 4, 2. We can also draw that using the calculator using a command called zeros. What we'll do is write out our expression as we did before now normally we'd say that expression is equal to that distance however we're looking for zeros so if I subtract 4 from both sides that expression will equal 0 and we'll plot all those points and there we have our circle. Erasing our geometry trace and there's the set of points defined by our equation. Now it's your turn. Define the set of points that are three units away from z equals 1 plus i. Now you'll need to pause the video because I'll reveal the solution as soon as you resume. OK, let's see how you went. Just a little reminder at the top, we're looking for the points that are three units away from z equal 1 plus i. Because we're looking for a distance, we'll use the absolute value of z minus 1 plus i and we want that distance to equal 3. So if that's the equation you've written, you're correct. If you want the equation in Cartesian form, that's it, but we can make it look a little bit nicer than that. We'll start by squaring both sides, and then to make it look a little bit more attractive, or perhaps in a more familiar way, we'll complete the square And there we have it. It's the equation to a circle, x minus 1 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared equals 9. How'd you go? If you would like to see more tutorials, try some worksheets, or perhaps even a test, visit us at education.ti.com forward slash Australia. There you will find materials for teachers and students. Thanks.